Hi, um, I've been promising for ages that I was going to do a makeup tutorial and I thought why not do it now when you're really not feeling your best because you were out the night before but this is probably the best sort of look at what I actually look like, like really really bad skin. This is good light so it's a good time of day to do it because it's a Sunday, good spots that I'm just actually picking right now. Took all of last night's makeup off pretty much. Sorry, there was still a little bit left on there, but anyway. What are we doing? So, I got some stuff from Clarins the other day, and this is a least minute base Comblanti. Um, instant smooth perfection touch, but I put a little bit of this on last night just to like smooth out any lines under my eyes, and I feel like you couldn't see a difference. I like it. So, whack a bit of that on. And then I would also usually use a Smashbox primer, but I decided not to because I also got some of this Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. Now, it doesn't say that it's a primer, but what does it say it does? It says apply without, oh no, it doesn't say what it does, it just tells you what to do. Apply without rubbing in, follow immediately with makeup. Beauty flash bomb. Oh, brightens and tightens. That's what you want when you look like this to start with. So yeah, this is quite nice. I used this for the first time last night and I quite liked it. So I thought I'd whop, I'd whop, whop, whip, whop, 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 whop a bit of this on. Right. And it says put makeup on immediately after. So, lots of people ask us what foundation I use. And the foundation that I use is Estee Lauder Double Wear. So, you don't need a lot of it either. It's just a splodge on your hand. Like that. Um, and then... Uh, this brush is dirty, it needs a clean, I'm a tramp. Um, but I like this brush because it, I, I call it a stabby brush because you would just get in there and all because I've got very porous skin and holes from scars or acne. So I like to use this to really stab my face. But just get this all over. Excellent coverage, I think. I've got, I've given myself a scar on my nose from a really bad spot. But it'll cover, it'll cover, they always do. With the Estee Lauder, I think that it does set quite quickly, so you need to move quite quickly when you are blending it in. Um, but it's worth it for the coverage. Like, I've got really bad, like, I've got quite a lot of spots going on at the minute, but. I haven't actually really been using concealer. I've just sort of been going, I go over, like I put a base, I put a base of foundation on and then any areas that I think need more attention, I'll sort of just go over. So I always go right across to me a lobby bit just to make sure you don't get any of those, you know, like, like makeup lines, like what I would have used to have when I was a child and wore makeup. I say child, I mean teenager. I shouldn't have worn I've got makeup all over them. But this is where I just sort of dot over. I'm not really like, before I was sort of rubbing around, this is where I'm just sort of stabbing on. This is why it's the stabby brush. Stab, 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 stab in your face. This area is such an issue. These spots, it's like a little cluster of spots that have been there for like a long time. I hate my skin. But even still, I'm not done with the coverage sort of thing. There's nothing you can do about lumps and bumps, unfortunately, if you've got big spots like you can get different primers to try and sort of fill your holes on your face, but even then I haven't found one that's fantastic. Like I need um I need polyfiller for my face, but 
Polyfilla Hilton bought out a primer yet. Get on it, Mr. Polyfilla man. Because I need it. Thank you. And then also I'll sort of blend my neck later with a bit of bronzer. So just to give yourself a little bit of awakeness under the eyes, I've got this NYX palette, which is Colour Correct and Concealer. And they're all very creamy and obviously random colours. And mainly I obviously obviously use the yellow one. Uh, all I do is get a beauty blender. A lot of people spray beauty blenders first, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, because sometimes I feel like it just wipes me makeup off, so depends if I'm feeling adventurous to try it. But just literally dot this under my eyeballs, just to give myself a little bit of life. I mean, I'm working with the absolute worst of the worst. This is the worst I can possibly look. I was out last night, didn't go to bed until like four o'clock in the morning or something stupid, maybe it's later. Um, I was up at like 10 o'clock this morning, so I'm not feeling fresh. Didn't take my makeup off properly. I've tried to take it off as best as I can now and my skin was pretty clear, but my eyes, it's just so hard to get eyeliner off, isn't it? I'm asking you as if he's a can ask his answer is back, but this is just a recording. Sorry, I've got take me nose. All right, um, and then I also just like to splodge a bit in this area, and then just take it down downtown. Your favorite song by Macklemore, downtown. Um, what is it, you know, I don't want to pick me up with that video. I'm going to have to blow it, sorry. Oh, no, I've got tissue here. I'm hoping this can be edited out. Meh. No, I think I've heard it worse, sorry. We'll get there. No, I think oh, it's not on my face now. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I blow my nose like my grander. And my other grander, because there were two grandas, one of them's one of them's passed away. Um and that one who's died, he um used to sneeze like or blow his nose like, <clears throat> like a proud trumpet. And if I ever blow my nose like like I do, like that, in front of my other grandda, he's always just like, oh, you're going to give yourself damage there. You don't need to blow your nose so loudly. And I'm just like, it's the only way I can get the bogeys out. It's so strange that it's just so different people. Um, so here. I don't know what I would do with this. This is just what the internet told us to do. So I just follow the internet because the internet is always correct. Um, this MAC Prep and Prime is unbelievable for if you've got oily skin, I just really, really bought it. So it's just like a translucent white powder. Um, and I like to use it for, I'll just get some of the gunk on the eyeballs. Whoop. Um, I like to use it for, you don't need a lot on and just sort of mattifying or do like what the professionals would say, bacon. This is for bacon. So that just sort of packs that in. Sometimes, especially if I'm going out to try and avoid the shine, I like to put it on the top of my head in like the areas that get particularly shiny. Oh, I forgot to contour. Right, it's okay. All I'm gonna do is contour them bits because I haven't touched it yet. Usually what I would do is put some creamy contour across this part of my head but I, I don't I don't want to now. Right I've got this Bobbi Brown it's pot rouge for lips and cheeks and I use it as contour. I got it free from somewhere once years ago. 
last year, I think. Um, and I'm using this. This is a unique brush, which I like because it's bendy. It's got like a bit of a curve to it. Oh, that tickling all those things happening again. It's got a bit of a curve to it, so just get some on here and then you sort of go from the middle-ish area of the ear and just drag it down to about there. Like you're giving yourself side burns. I usually end up painting it on my hair. Isn't a good look, but what are you going to do? Try and match them if you don't match them. Yeah. It's all right. I use a different, so I've got one blender that I use for the light colours and a blender that I use for the dark colours. And just literally buff that out. I think this is the one where I like to use a little bit of spray and this MAC Prep and Prime spray is unreal. Oh. Not so much for this stuff, this is just like me. Yeah, that's great. But eyeshadow. <laughs> One of the best purchases I've ever made. So yeah, all we're doing is just sort of blending that out. See, I usually... I don't love it. Some, I used it yesterday for this part of the process and I liked it, but... I'm not loving it today. I feel like it's just made it a bit meh. It might have been better if I just, I think the whole purpose of the bit dampening your sponge is to make it blend easier, but I think if you just sort of put the time in with it dry, it maybe takes slightly longer, but yeah, I think you get a better blend. Then I'm going to stop using that for that reason. It's just for a shovel. <coughs> right, so next thing that I'm going to do, oh, I didn't mention the colours as well. So the Estee Lauder foundation that I've got on is in the colour Wheat. Um, I am now going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear powder that goes sort of with it, and this is also in the colour Wheat, using a fluffy brush, Real Techniques. I'm just going to go over everywhere, like even where I've just put the lighter powder on. I'm just going to chuck it all over. I feel like this gives you that extra bit of coverage again. Viva, like, if you've got spots. Oh, is that? It's really bad right now. And it just seals everything in for me. I couldn't just do that translucent powder. I feel like that is more of a combatant oily skin thing is why I use that. Um, and then, Hula. I love Hula. This is Benefit Hula. So, I didn't use the creamy contour thingy before, but that's fine because I can still darken this area with the Hula. So, just literally stab that around. Straight away, you can see how much highlight it gives to your forehead. And then just go over. Um, when you come to putting this like a darker powder around your forehead, make sure you try and get really into your hairline just because you don't want it to look really pale in comparison. Um, and then the final part is if you take it under your jawline just to, it sharpens everything up. And if you're a bit like me and have two chins, it gives you a bit more definition. You just need to make sure that when you go back to it, you do give it a bit of a decent blend because you don't want it to be too harsh. I also take it down this area. So pretty much you are doing like either the letter E or the number three, whichever way that works out. <sighs> oh, now this is Nas Frenz Frenzy. <laughs> It's a highlighter and blusher all in one, and it's so good. Um, so all I'm going to do is take a smaller fluffy brush and just right above where we've got the dark, take the rouge, and it just 
gives you, oh, it's just such a beautiful colour. Bought this by accident, well, not by accident. I was in House of Fraser and I seen signs up saying if you spent over £50, you would get something 10% off or £10 off or sort of some crap. So I was looking at highlighter and there was a different, this highlighter, which is so lush as well. Um, and I was just like, oh, I like that one. But then she showed us the frenzy and I was just like, oh, I like that. And I thought, oh, well, I suppose I'm getting both of them and I get £10 off, so I might as well. So I bought them, went to the till, and like the £10 didn't come off. And then she was just like, so I said, she was just like, oh, do you not get £10 off? She's like, oh, it's only selected lines. I was just like, ah, don't really need two highlighters, but I feel like I have to now. So I got them both accidentally, but at the same time I was pleased with them. My bank account wasn't, but... It's too short. Um, I do like the highlighter in this, but I do prefer this one, which is in the colour Albatross. Oh my god, it's dreams. I've highlighted those dreams. So it looks very white here, yeah, but I just sideways brush. Get some on and then just swipe up. Swipe up, swipe up like what you do on Instagram. Which you can't do on mine. I would make, I would put links on so it was easier to do things, but it can't. And just, yeah, so you just go and it's almost like I always describe this as um, Napoleon, Napoleon ice cream, whatever it's called. So you've got your chocolate ice cream, your strawberry, and then your vanilla. It's the best way to remember which area you're going in. Take that round. Just like basically the, this sort of circle area here. You can also take a little bit just above your eyebrows. And then at the end, when I put lipstick on, I like to go in with a smaller brush usually, but just like a little dot on your cupid's bone that just sort of gives you a bit more lip. Um, so yeah, once you've put everything on, then I go back to fluffy brush and just sort of circular motions just to blend everything together because you don't want it, you want it to be natural. So sometimes when you put everything on, it doesn't sort of look chemise. But then when you blend it through, it all sort of comes together. Sometimes I do a bit contour and I mean, sometimes I don't. Like, so sometimes I would take the albatross again and just run a little bit with my finger down my nose just to give that a little bit long brush of shine and then blend all together <coughs> the last thing I do is just take a bigger fluffy brush also just a bit of this is broken bronzer it's sun glow rimmel I never spend a lot of money on bronzer just to blend everything together just to make your neck match your face. I just use bronzer. Walk that on. And blend it out. So yeah, this is how I do my face. I've got a nice bit of highlight, decent bit of coverage. Um, my spots are really bad at the minute, but I think from what we started with, we're winning, we are winning. Um, the next thing that I would go on to is my eyebrows and then my eyes. A lot of people do eyes before foundation. I don't know why I don't. I just, I never have. Um, but yeah, I do my face first and this is the finished look. If you've got any questions, um, just get in touch. Thanks. Bye-bye. So hungover.